So the majority of our students who are in the fifth year will transfer up into the sixth form with us and that's something that we really uh, work with them to support and encourage them to do uh, and oftentimes we find that students uh, that, that work with us from the third year right the way through to the sixth form by the end of that journey are uh, incredibly well prepared for university. But it's often not university that is the focus for those students. Sometimes the focus for those students is how is life going to be different in the sixth form than it was when I was in my pinny uh, on the other side of the bridge. And actually students in the sixth form have a tremendous amount of freedom compared with students lower down the school. They're part of our community and they're here and they register in the mornings and at lunchtime it's just the same but they have a lot of freedom to go off-site as they might like to during the days. Uh, they get the opportunity to bring their friends onto site to spend time with them here as well and also they have a great deal of independent study time so in contrast with uh, the students who are in the younger years the six formers uh, have spaces each day where they get to reflect and to prepare and I think that's a really valuable difference as well and we work quite hard to make sure that they understand that those differences are things which are going to be a really key part of their experience in the sixth form. If I was to describe an archetypal Godolphin girl, uh, I would think that they would be uh, uh, a student who is courageous, who knows their own minds, who is pretty self-motivated, who makes the very most of the friendships and the opportunities that are available to them, and that absolutely does the school proud, really. Um, I, I think a Godolphin girl is, is often largely embodied by a sense of adventure, a sense of ambition, um, but also has a, a desire to have an education that is really rounded in terms of not just being rich academically but also being rich creatively and pastorally. So we have a lot of uh, our students in the sixth form who spend time uh, mentoring and supporting and interacting on a, on a fairly daily basis with, with the younger girls. Now that might be because they're prefects, for example, and they get the opportunity to quite formally spend time with other students up and down the school, but also it's got a lot to do with the kind of uh, extracurricular clubs that we run, the kind of organisations that we have that always encourage students to work together regardless of the year uh, that they might be in. And obviously we have discrete um, workshops and talks and lectures for the sixth form, but we really encourage them to find ways to connect with, with the rest of the school actually. And one of the ways that we do that is through the uh, Mental Health England Peer Education Programme where our students spend time uh, working specifically with the first years, uh, encouraging them to think a little bit about strategies that are going to be helpful for them over the coming years, sometimes based on the sixth formers' own experiences actually of, uh, of good mental health and the way that they can work their way through the school uh, and have a really happy and fruitful time. We have this, uh, this really amazing thing in the sixth form called the Elizabeth Godolphin Award or the EGA and it's really an opportunity to make sure that all of our sixth formers spend two years gathering the skills that they're going to need to last them a lifetime. I mean in a nutshell that's kind of what it is. So part of that is to do with university applications and writing CVs and really good technique for job interviews and all those kind of skills that are going to be of immediate value but it's also on, on a wider scale much more to do with the skills that they're going to need as they approach uh, self-sufficiency at university and beyond that so we do sessions for them on budget cookery for example literally on, on budgeting and managing their finances we do sessions with them on pensions and ISAs and financial support we do sessions with them on car maintenance uh, for example you know what you're going to do when your car breaks down that kind of stuff um, and those are all really valuable aspects of, of giving them the education they need. Uh, a, a very new programme in name, although it's been running uh, in another way for a number of years, which is a, a very strong careers guidance programme that uh, yeah, the Bethan Ferguson is in charge of as the Bright Futures programme. And this is a programme really which stretches from the first year right the way through into the sixth form and is there to make sure that every single student gets a really clear, strong, student-centred guidance in terms of careers. 
and it, it's quite a phenomenal um, benefit really of being here just to see these students who perhaps and, and probably quite rightly in the first few years of their, of their educational career don't really know what the future will bring they're just kind of working on through their lessons and by the time they leave us the majority of them are incredibly well briefed and prepared for the kinds of careers that they're about to go into and if they're not sure still what it is they really want to do with their lives then they absolutely have the tools and the and the skills that they might need in order to to proceed. One of the other brilliant benefits of that though is that um, we frequently get old girls coming back to us to talk about the kind of careers that they've had, the kind of experiences that they had while they were here that have helped them with that and it's really lovely for our students to see sort of reflections of themselves perhaps in five or ten years time and to see what some of the students who have been in their place before them have been able to achieve and that's a real strength of that program is just keeping those connections going for our current students as well as still in, in many ways supporting those who have left us. Our results in the sixth form at Godolphin are outstanding and I'm incredibly proud actually of the achievements of all of our students. Whether it's the students who are gaining uh, just a tremendous range of A's and A stars, we're the top 7% in the country for value added results as well in terms of the work that we do across the school to uh, allow those students to achieve their very best. I think if I had to try and describe what life is like in our sixth form in one sentence, I would say that in every respect it offers our students an education for life. 